Hello. I've been uh, going through some bits and putting together a, a computer to use as a little data backup server temporarily. And I was going to use this power supply, which is in one of the cases I've got, but it turns out to be dead. And I thought I'd have a quick look uh, and see what's gone wrong with it and see if it's repairable out of curiosity. It's Nantec, um, what's the case? It's Nantec 300 watt MT300P. Nantec stuff is normally pretty good, but um, this has been in someone's house for many, many years and it was completely clogged solid with, with fluff and dust when I opened it up, which could explain the problem. It's probably overheated. So anyway, uh, I've already cleaned it out. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go over that. And besides, using a big uh, vacuum cleaner to do it, it's too annoying to do anything else. So I'm going to pull the board out and see if I can see what's what. Just as a, a start, they do look quite well made. See the um, plenty of suppression around there with the bleed resistor so the plug pins aren't live after you unplug it from the power. And I think that's a fuse, that thing in the black. It's either a choker or a fuse, I can't see the label on it yet. But that could well be uh, a wire ended fuse that's um, blown and uh, caused a problem. Just pull the board out quickly and see what's what. If there's any other screws, we just fall around the outside. Oh, it's a bit uh, wobbly. Oh, that's interesting. That wants to be a current transformer. It's got a lot of turns of uh, enamelled wire and a small number of turns of integrated wire at the top by the look of it, which is odd. Yeah. Strange. Could be current sensor of some sort. Or something to do with power factor regulation, possibly. If it's uh, quite a fancy device. Um, right. The main cable bundle is tied to a uh -oh, cut out in the case end. So that's that out of the way. No screws underneath, no more screw bosses. So I think it should actually be lifting out at that. Not the wires clear. Take the socket out as well. Or do I have to? No, I shouldn't have to do that. The earth wire only goes to the case, not anything on the board, and the, the link wires are quite long, so I would expect that to pull out now. I'm curious. Oh, there it goes, it's just a snug fit. So there we are. It looks quite uh, nicely built. No sun or anything burning or anything obvious. And a good separation between the primary and secondary sides, both on the main board and the control board there. So anyway, quick bit of testing. Is that a fuse? Yes, it is. Five amp, 250 volt on the edge of the board about a seat on the edge of it. T5 on the slow blow, time delay. And uh, see if my guesstimate is right, and that's, uh, that's dead. Where's it actually connect to? <laughs> oh, straight in, inward from that point there. Look a bit there. Oh no, the fuse is good. So it hasn't shorted out, it's just uh, given up somewhere. So what's next, rectifier? Right
I'm not sure what this white spatter is over it. There's this little white specks all over it. Which is very strange. I don't know if that's because that Ricardo got through the fan easily. There's no sign of it on the fan, it's just inside the power supply. Hang on. All right, bridge rectifiers there. Just put a diode test. Oops, wrong one. And capacitance around the diode. Um, if you can see it. Okay. And the bridge is okay. We've got continuity from the input to the bridge. Yep. And oops. Yeah. Okay. So it should have got DC on the capacity on the main storage capacitor when it gets there. I'm not sure. I'm curious what that one is. It is a measuring circuit. simple fact it's got very heavy tracks and then very fine tracks on the other terminals so it does appear to be a current transformer uh-huh I was going to the wrong terminals possibly oh yeah that's um it's got continuity through those two so that'll be the main yeah enameled Winding. I should need to zoom in a bit more on that so you can see it a bit clearer. But yeah, it appears that the enameled wire, the weight main primary winding is across those two. And there's a big diode there. So I wonder if that's okay. Yeah, 0.4 of a volt. So that's okay. So where is the that's the main transformer somewhere around there. So the power transistor is, is on the back of that heat sink now, where it's almost impossible to see. You can see it very good. You can just about see the screws down between those pins, pin fins on the heat sink. So somewhere, oh there, there, those three there are the three power devices. Which is interesting. That's got to be the capacitor there. Yeah, that's the capacitor. So where's the... That's the positive output from the bridge there. The negative output goes... will somehow connect from that to that. There's a wire link, jumper link there. So that connects from there to there. So that's that's that one, and that is through a diode there. That connects to that one, and yeah, it's a fairly complex circuit on this. I think I'm guessing this has got some kind of power correction, power factor correction, something. Not sure quite what. But yes, interesting device. Ah. Right, of course, this is a standby supply. I bet it's a double supply module. There's, about, there's a standby supply that's what's going first. There's a main high, how, high power section, the 300 watt one. But there should be an auxiliary supply that comes on straight away. And I bet that's on this bit. And that's what that is. Is that a single IC? Regulated by any chance? Who knows? It's got all eight pins on it, so it's unlikely. Can't see any numbers because of the dust. But three optical isolators there for feed, feedback across the isolation. 
Yeah, it's definitely an interesting circuit and uh, a pain to work on because everything's hidden away behind other things because it's been so compact. The manufacturing date on that circuit board, July 2020. So it's uh, 24 years old, so it's, uh, so it's not bad for electronics, or consumer electronics. Now, which is the standby connection? I assume they're the control and low power wires. So all the high current ones are labelled on this edge. But those vanish somewhere again into the guts where you can't see them. There. So I think it may not be worth the hassle unless there's something really obvious on it. I think I'll have to use my phone to uh, magnify some numbers, I think, and try and take photos to figure out what things are. Because of the weird angles, I can't read the numbers on there with it in the way they get. Is that IC down there? Link and IC. That could be, oh my, that's it. There's another power transistor on that, a little heat sink there. So is that the, is that where I want to be looking? There. That's another power transistor, which appears to be the drive for the standby transformer. Of course, the standby transformer, it's on all the time, it's, it's plugged in whether the computer's in use or not. So the, the standby side is more likely to age. So let me have a quick dig about around this side, out of curiosity. There's a thing where you can see it. So... That was the, I'll go back to just normal continuity. That's the positive side. Is that on those? Uh, keep a track of which is which, so it's easy to see which is positive. No continuity to anything on that circuit. Uh, on the capacitive, there's something there. On that one. It's about on this side through the diode. Ah, uh, yeah. That's it. So there's a, a feed from the positive of the capacitor. Oh, it's there. That goes to that transform pin. Then that's the collector or drain of that power device. That's got a continuity. And then I would think that one must be somehow linked back to that. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. So I'll look, uh, look at the wrong half to start with. One of the reasons it's more complex is it's a standby one. Uh, I don't think I, I've never tried to repair a PC power supply before, actually. It's one of these things I've just never done. <laughs> so anyway. So that part, somewhere in this... Is the, the control to that base or gate or whatever comes straight from this little mod module here. And that's got both positive power and ground into it. I just think it's got ground somewhere. No? Interesting. Oh, that's, that's a dead short to negative. Because it's wired to something there. That track there. Connects from the capacitor negative into there. It's like a tiny track. So it's a millimeter wide, if that. But 
there is a connection there. Fourth pin down is direct negative. How high is that? Fourth pin down. Was it on the third pin? And both the third and fourth pin. Third and fourth pin are both connected to negative. I'm not sure where the third one goes. That's up there somewhere. Again, hidden away under that lot. Oh, it's a resistor. Back to the oh, piss with the emitter on that resistor, that transistor, emitter or source. Anyway, right, so that board, that board has definitely got power and ground to it. And I need to know what that little IC there is to see what that does because of a, feel, of a feeling that's some form of power control IC. Uh, so I'm going to have to shut this off.